we were talking about server demos uh, earlier today, and one of the things that I pointed out to some of my compadres on the desktop side is server demos are never that sexy. We don't have a bunch of flashing lights. We don't have a bunch of cars driving and games playing. But when you talk about a servo demo like business continuity, this is where the rubber meets the road. So what we've got are two servers, and they're identical servers with serial attached uh, network storage. And uh, you've got a, a, a notebook showing the console. This is a failover demo. We've got this set up so that in the VMware environment, when the first server fails, the other server automatically takes over the virtual machines. What is significant about this demo is when you're talking about business continuity and business security, if you're in an environment where you need 100% uptime, this is definitely a way to manage that. Now you're working with virtual machines, you're working with an environment to where the end user can't afford to have the system go down even for a second. So you can see we've got uh, rendering going on and we can actually simulate the failover without having to pull the plug on the machine. So what you'll see is that while it's rendering, we'll go ahead and uh, initiate the failover so it's automatically going to move the virtual machines from the first server to the second server. And what you'll see is a momentary pause and this is what the end user would see. A momentary pause but then everything kicks right back into gear. So if you can imagine the scenario where you've got a lot of end users that are accessing the server, they're gonna see a very momentary pause but then everything goes back to normal and that's even if you had a catastrophic failure on one server. It would automatically move the virtual machines over to a new physical machine. This is not applicable only to, to enterprises. Medium businesses are beginning to recognize the need for it. Even in small businesses, virtualization is becoming a factor because those small businesses are having to have four or five servers. They're having to have one server for the point of sale system, one server for the customer resource manager system. They're having to have another server for the security system. What virtualization and virtual machines and this kind of failover protection allows them to do is to invest a little more in the server up front and have the security and have the separation and have the uh, power they need in order to power all those, uh, all those different applications on a single server with multiple virtual machines. So this kind of business continuity is critically important when you need those 100% uptime environments. And this again is part of the future of computing and you're gonna see this beginning to reach down even more into the small businesses and other arenas. So we're very excited that the 45 nanometer quad core Opteron processor has a lot of the virtualization capabilities built in, things like rapid virtual indexing. We've got nested page tables. Uh, we've increased the cache size. We've increased the performance and uh, the memory capabilities. So the net of all of these technologies is that it helps enable virtualiz virtualized environments that are making a big difference, not only in customers' uh, ability to do their jobs, but in the security of their data and their ability to run multiple applications on a single server. Very, very exciting stuff. Again, virtualization for the masses. That's what we're all about.